Johnny Patch is here finally. It's going to happen, <laughs> and uh, uh, not everything is available though. No, not everything is available, but we are getting one step closer to the actual launch of Dragonflight, and there are things you should do and you should know about all of the madness that is surrounding the pre-patch and we got it all nicely listed up here oh yeah uh, to be by i hope helpful to get you going especially if you really want to go like knee deep into dragonflight and you know start doing some keys or start doing your raiding with your guild or fighting somebody to do all these activities and whatnot but not only that, because there's other things to be done as well, right? Oh yeah, basically if you are starting out in your journey into prepping your character for Dragonflight or maybe you're switching to an alt and you want to make sure that everything is smooth sailing, what is it that you can and should do in these uh, couple of weeks, a month until uh, the special release? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's basically uh, a month-ish up until the actual launch and I would say a month and two weeks until season one starts. So you have to be yeah. all prepped up. Now let's let's kick it. First things first with the pre-patch. The um, most obvious. Yeah, the user interface, baby. So we have like the, the user interface and the new talents. Obviously, we're going to talk about the UI first because... Uh, it's going to hit you in the face. It's like right yeah. there. It's the first thing that you will see with your eyes in your eye sockets. And with the splash screen. Because the splash screen will tell you, hey, new UI. Oh, hey, let's customize. Splash screen. Uh, it's been a long time since, uh, you know, they, they should have added this a, a long time ago. But now you can basically move around everything. Remember that add-on move anything that will yeah, let you do? Yeah, and that was so buggy too, <laughs> man. And this is, I don't know, they never did any UI, like graphical UI no, overhaul, never. visual UI overhaul. They did menu overhaul and you, there's also a menu overhaul. You'll see the settings and we're not going to talk about that because what's important, you'll have a search function that you can search for all of the things that you want yes. in terms of your like anything, settings, graphical, audio, anything. Uh, action bars and stuff. And then you get to the UI, man. What can they change with the UI? I mean, you can you can change uh, the positions of everything on your screen. Basically, everything can be changed and placed oh, yeah. around everywhere. You can add up to, I think, like eight action bars all over the yep. place. Also customizable as well. Uh, Flay mentioned the search function, like when you go go into your like uh, settings or whatever and if you want to like activate target plates or i don't know some sort of like class coloring for your party frames or whatever you can use the search uh, bar over there and it's so much easier because the the placements and the the locations of all of the the settings have been changed as well so it's much easier to navigate yeah, because of that um, there still be add-ons activated, so you can still install add-ons. We still use a lot of add-ons for everything that, that we do, we chorus and uh, uh, thread plates and platers and stuff like that. But in terms of like actually customizing everything, you can basically like, get rid of the griffins, uh, arrange all of your interface the way you want to. You can enable your grid to have it snap to every like pixel. So, you know, all the OCD it's, boys it's and It's kind girls. of like... Um, has budget LVI setups, but in increases more on what we used in yeah. SUI. So it's kind of like a blend between the two. It probably does what bartender used to do as well. And we don't know exactly the comp uh, compatibility of this with all of the other uh, the other add-ons. And that is the next thing that you probably should uh, work in the next couple of uh, weeks is to get your add-ons up and ready because they the UI being changed, some add-ons might not you know be compatible. It depends on how the authors update their own work. So you'll have to use curse forge for instance to see what the current version of the add-ons that you want to use and if they match with the pre-patch version and if they're they're compatible if they're working properly because you might even g uh, get rid of some of them i mean we know we are yeah. probably i don't know if sui will do anything i mean it'll probably if, if uh, santa upgrades it then maybe we'll have the darker things because we kind of like the dark borders but outside of that pretty much everything looks really really sweet and the next thing that you should probably 100 percent do is Check the talents out. Yeah, check check the talents. So, but but before that, we have one piece of advice. So, be sure to uh, have. Uh, I don't know if you've done this already, but the WTF and interface folders from your All current right. wall. Yes. Be sure to save that somewhere because uh, the interface will contain like the some of the settings for your add-ons, right? So you're gonna have a lot of things there, and also on the WTF. And again, in some places of the interface, you're gonna have your saved settings for weak chorus and stuff like that. If you're gonna go into the pre-patch, the Wii chorus will not be um, as customized as you had them maybe in uh, uh, Shadowlands. So that's very important, okay? Now let's talk about the talents. The talents, <laughs> I mean, if you followed our concert for the last couple of months, we pretty much talked about every spec a bunch of times with the new talents. We didn't really talk about builds because, you know, those are still being iterated upon. 
There are a lot of theory crafters and sims being done and APL works and stuff like that. So the first thing that you probably will do is you log in and you'll see that you'll have already a starter build selected by default. It's probably not going to be the best, who knows, but what you could do is, until we, you know, have some guides ready for you, you can <laughs> actually check the class discourse for every spec because uh, I think every spec so far has builds pinned. Yeah. People talk about builds, the raid builds, because, you know, everything, we're going to talk about the content as well. But you want to, you know, you can obviously test it out. Maybe that's the beauty of the talents. You can actually mix and match talents. You can look at our videos after you've done with this one to see like what kind of talents are good, what's buff, what's nerfed, what options you have and what they do. But you can definitely explore this on your own and that's probably the cool part of it. But if you just want to hop in into the content, you need to know the builds and you have to check the class discourse for that. Yeah, or you can also check Wowhead. I'm pretty sure like at this point you have all of the, the class guides ready for pre-patch. So you're going to have some loadouts over there. And this is one of the cool things. Once you, once you like make a specific build for the talents you have, you can save that uh, as a loadout and you can load it and in, in a future date, save another one or import uh, one. I, I know on Wowhead, uh, all of the guide writers have... Uh, listed there the code to import for the builds for M plus or rating or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's there, so it's super New easy feature. to just get going, no problem. Uh, well, there's like, um, you have to know, like, right now, since it's pre patch, you're level 60 still, so you're gonna be missing five tal talent points from the general class tree and five talent points from the spec talent tree, okay? So you're not like completely fully built. But once again, it's there for you to explore and play around with and test out. And once you are familiar with it, you can check out some of the, the builds recommended if you want to like still do some content. Um, let's talk about what is um, kind of going away and not. So, uh, both yeah. tier sets, uh, legendaries, and, and covenants. Now, tier sets, the ones we know... The, the bonuses that we have are they're like, gone. They're gone 100%. And there's a lot of reasons for that. And that's what we're going to talk about right now because... Um, you, you, there, the new talents will have tier set bonuses baked into them. You'll notice stuff like, you know, the Shrew Warlock has a tier set in. Uh, Red Fury Paladin Warrior, has it. There you go. Uh, yeah, Fury Warrior. There's, there's so, a, some of them nerf, some of them buffed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's the thing. Tier sets and uh, Covenant abilities as well, you're going to find them all spread out between the specs and classes. Okay, so uh, this is like kind of, uh, I guess, understood that you will not have them activated, but they will be active in the Shadowlands zones. That will go, that's going to be- Yeah, the Covenants, shit. the Conduits, all of that, this is still going to work. You can still visit your Covenant. You can do all of that stuff. You'll still get bonuses from your Conduits. And this is where the builds might become wacky yeah. because <laughs> uh, Conduits as well, for certain specs, have made it into the talent tree. Uh, we don't know right now if they stack. For instance, you have the same Conduit in, in, your, in your Covenants and then the same mechanic as a talent, if you pick both, I don't know if the procs or anything like that will stack. This is the time where everything is going to be crazy and you're going to have to deal yeah. with it and accept it. That's fine. And it's we not, love it. It's not going to be how uh, it's going to be when the expansion releases. It's just stupid fun. Hopefully it's it's crazy fun. And some specs will probably be overpowered and some specs will cry because the last five talents will actually complete their build. Yeah. But um, that, with that out of the way, tier sets are gone. Legendaries, um, as far as I know, will still work in the pre-patch. Yeah, they will come pre-patch. Um, we don't know exactly when the Dragonfly releases, if they're going to be disabled. Probably. I think so. I think that they'll disable because uh, as similar to tier sets and covenant abilities uh some of the legendaries are in the actual talent trees uh the spec talent trees so that will definitely be something that they will be removing as yeah. we're going to go into dragonfly probably still working the shadow as content but let's be real who's going to go back to shadow i don't know time uh, time, time time walking no <laughs> no no no, no let's, it's fine uh but yeah, it's going to be some weird stuff with the, the actual legendary still working in the pre-patch and some of the legendaries baked into the talents it's all for testing and grabbing which it's would, crazy uh, it's crazy time man let's let's burn yeah, this let's some fun. crazy time and do some proper content it's pre-patch man it's pre-patch but i guess for 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 a lot of you out there uh it's really important to be as um prepared and as geared up as possible once Dragonfly, re Dragon mm -hmm. so re releases. Dragonfly releases because um, I guess it would be ideal to have like the best possible gear you could have when you go out leveling. Uh, you have to remember that if you have like a brand new character or if you're like coming back from, I don't know, season three or two from Shadowlands, you're going to be at a at an item level that will I will not say it will cause problems. There's, but there's, you'll be as a disadvantage. I mean, we've played the better. There's clearly a difference between you know what if you're boosting a character, if you bought the Dragonfly and you have the boost, oh, or yeah. if you're leveling something new, it'll likely be around 180, 200 eye level at the very max going into the leveling process of Dragonflight. 
And that's fine because that's where the quests start to give you uh, item rewards and maybe that's cool. Some people like to get into that and, you know, feel like the quest rewards are impactful. But if you just want to hit the ground running and you want to get to that endgame re really quick and farm all the renowns and get ready for the raid and all that, then what you need to do is definitely be prepared for the content that we're going to have, which is all of the raids will be faded. We'll have access to all three raids at the same time. And all of the faded mechanics are still going to be in place. You'll still have dinars. You can buy gear with dinars. You can oh, yeah. upgrade gear. You're going to get more dinars uh, because everything's going to be available. So you're going to have that accelerator as well. Like if you want to get your gavel or if you want to get, I don't know, your uh, effigy trinket or uh, the first one's trinket or whatever. Now is the time to do so to have everything because let's be real. In the first phase of the pre patch there's not much stuff really you can do aside from explore, you know, the new uh, uh, features within the Let's game. play with the talents, get the builds. Yeah, that, that's it. Stuff. But you have all of this content still available, you know, uh, uh, dungeons as well. Uh, the, the faded raids, you can still do that because the vault will still be active. So you will be able to get some really nice gear, get to maybe close to 300 item level and be a little bit ahead oh, yeah. once Dragonflight launches. Because again, not much is to do. I mean, you can still... I mean, the dungeons are still there. The, the Season 4 Mythic Plus dungeon pool is still the same. Yeah, still and Valor still works. Yeah, so basically, uh, you can get your KSM mount. You can get... Uh, oh, you, the, with the dragon, with the Slam Cat mount. You can also get that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, and the and you can get it like all in one week, I think, because all of the raids being available, you have a lot of bosses being available to uh, to do on the first week. What is it like thirty ish bosses? Oh, well, there's like a that. lot of bosses, the thirty something. So there's there's a lot a lot a lot of content to be to be done. Um, and I think for the most part, it's gonna be really cool to actually like jump into one boss and then into another boss if you like want to like skip ahead or whatever. Um, if you're PvPing, obviously solo queue is going to be active over there. You're gonna have rated solo the new shuffle, stuff, man. solo yeah. shuffle, yeah. man. Yeah, We've been shuffle. asking this for years, <laughs> and it's rated right off the back, so you can you can get it, you can get into it and see how it works. There's gonna be some fun and um, I would say a controversial uh, happenings over controversial there. Controversial meta, uh, <laughs> but understatement. It's there. It's there for everybody to to try out because again, guys, up until the 15th of November, uh, and that's when the second phase of the pre patch will launch. There's not much you can do content yeah, and, and unfortunately, I know that a lot of you guys have asked us this in the comments and in the in the stream. Uh, the main shower is going to be gone for the pre-patch phase. Oh, yeah. It's going to come back once the Dragonfly releases, but I know a lot of people wanted to test out the main shower with the new talents. Unfortunately, you can only do that during the Dragonfly expansion and not in the pre-patch, probably because the craziness of the pre-patch. I don't know, maybe they still want to balance it. Maybe it's only available at level 70. However, in pre-patch, it's not going to be there. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. It's not going to be available. They'll probably announce once it's available again in Dragonfly. Yeah. I'm thinking once uh, a little bit after season one starts, but we'll, we'll see. This is all speculation at this point. What isn't speculation though is the second phase of the pre-patch, which I know a lot of people were kind of disappointed uh, because of this. Because first of all, the drag tier and subsequently, you know, the Evoker class is going to become available yeah, on well, the 15th. On, on, only on the 15th. Uh, and um, I don't know what to say that's, about this. It's, it's, it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit weird in the context of what our pre-patch is supposed to be doing for the overall game. Because uh, let's say somebody wants to main an ev Evoker. They, uh, we can talk about, you know, high-end mythic guilds trying to, you know, switch their roster to test out the Evoker and uh, bring it into the raids. Or simply people just wanting to test out the new class and have fun. When all of this the raids being enabled and dungeons being enabled and all that, you cannot do it unless the, only in the last two weeks. Plus, you're going to have to level it, which is not that bad. I think you start at 58 yeah, yeah, and then you level up to 60. That's when you get the new zone as well. But that is when it, that becomes available. And also, Ulderman will be available. Yes, the, the first dungeon, I would say the, the rerouting of Ulderman that is in Dragonflight. The third Flight, version of will, it, right? Yeah, will be, <laughs> will be available on the 15th of November. Uh, Grant is going to be on normal, I believe, at that's, least in the pre-patch. So that's, that's what we have on the on the PTR yeah, but so it, I think it's a good good way for, for folks to like get familiar with it and uh, you know get some gear out of that as well. Again, if you're not... If you haven't done all of your uh, plethora of fated raids during the, the first two weeks of the pre-patch or whatever, then sure, you can go in here uh, and all the month. I guess this is like content for you guys. Um, drag there, as you mentioned, like the, the their zone is pretty amazing as well, oh, the leveling so zone. Ooh. So if you're, if you're thinking about maining it or whatever, that is the perfect time to explore and just level it up. It's beautiful. I tell you. Um, and also there's, there's the um, events, the pre-patch events. Like uh, for, I think since... 
uh, hmm, Legion, maybe? No, pre-patch events the, were the, always the, a thing. The invasion the, style. Yeah, the invasion style, yeah, uh, events were kind of from, from Legion, and this is very similar to that. It's the Primal Storms, yeah. um, which uh, basically will have um, element invasion in different zones of Azeroth. Okay, so you're going to have Earth uh, elemental invasions in Northern Barrens, you're going to have fire invasions in Trisfall Glades, storm invasion in, in Ongoro Crater, and a water elemental invasion water in the balance. Badlands. Yeah, it kind of uh, happens on a, like, on a 30 minute uh, time period where the Elemental Lord starts. Um, the way you do it is we couldn't test it out because they enabled it for like 30 minutes and the servers crashed, so we couldn't really test it out. You yeah. might We might not have proper footage for it, but what's Fingers interesting crossed. is the way it works is you go there and you have to slay like 100 mobs, normal trash, and then you can actually target the Elemental Lord. And all of this drops um, drops a currency called a Primeval Essence, and that's what you used to buy I level 252 gear, which is catch-up gear. It's not, you know, it's not 300 level what we have now, but this is good for, you know, for your Evoker, for your alts. If you don't really care about, you know, doing the Mythic Plus and the Fader Raids, you can definitely do this. And 252 is more than enough to hit the ground running in Dragonflight. Because yeah, I think that lasts you for until about level 64, 65. Um, where, because that's when the yeah. quest will start to reward the, the better, the, yeah. be the better gear. Uh, also, if you're interesting, in, uh, interesting. If you're, you're, I know you're interesting, but if you're also interested in this event, uh, you have to remember with this primeval essence. Uh, in order for you to get that gear, you can get it either from a uh, uh, stormwind docks, um, or in a blade fist. Bay on the Zeppel Inventor, right? Yeah, the, the yep. Storm Inventor is uh, right at the, at the Boralus dock side, and the uh, the one is the Zeppelin dude that's gonna take you eventually to Dragonfly. Yeah, yeah, it's it is the guy. So if you if you want to get that that gear, it's looking pretty cool. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. The, the, for actual uh, pre patch gear, it's looking cool. At least the plate one. Yeah, is the, looking the sets very are good. nice. I'm, yeah. I'm 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 so for this. More medieval more, fantasy more style, and not, bit, right? like not Final Fantasy style. Well, here, you're right? gonna see the tier sets, <laughs> so uh, those big yellow things going out. Those, those it's amazing. elemental shaman animations into a gear. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, uh, the event also can give, can drop, drop get you uh, the, the bag of furious winds, which is a new toy. You're gonna have a heirloom trinket as well, unstable uh, elemental confluence. Um, it's, I guess this since we didn't test it that much on paper, it doesn't seem too much. Um, they haven't they haven't posted the pre-patch event still to be tested out, so we'll have to see. But hey, if it's not going to be tested out, then might as well just uh, explore and be surprised at what's going to happen on the fifteenth yeah. of uh, November. Uh, but overall, this is like all the things you uh, kind of need to do the and the short and sweet about. list. Yeah. For the pre-patch, uh, once again, uh, there's like, I, I know some people asked about professions and stuff that's not going to be available up until Dragonfly launches, so don't worry too much about it. Um, other than that, if you like, you once again, if you want to get ready for whatever is to come in Dragonfly, they want to chew on that content as for as best as you can, then be sure to like still, you know, hit those fader rates, hit down the Zen Plus, you can still get your KSM out, you can still get some awesome loot like the gavel, uh, uh, from J like you know the the scars trinket and the, well, maybe the Anduin ring as well. There's there's a, still a lot of good gear to be to be had and to have that getting into Dragonflight, right? It's better. It's to gonna make you off. blast, man. Gonna make you blast and get blast level it. seventy. Yes, blast it, and it's gonna have make you have uh, an easier time, right? So you're gonna be better prepared to get into Dragonflight, and then and, you know you're gonna start off uh, going into the other stuff that you have to do within the expansion to get ready for season one. But that's a little different video. That's later on. So, tell us what you think. Are you excited? Is this the moment you've been waiting for? Is it New Year's Eve? Happy it's, it's, New Year, Flame! It's, it's close, it's <laughs> close. Tell us what you're gonna do. Are you gonna be a raider, a dungeoner, or simply are gonna do the uh, the events? We're or excited that the pre-patch is here and everything is coming in. It's finally happening. We're going away. Yes. Maybe yes. Shadowlands Blind. Thank you, Patreons, for supporting the content. Without you guys, there will not be us over here. So, big shout out to all of the Patreons supporting this You're type like of content. like our parents. Yeah, but yeah, if you take care of us and you give, you know, you give us love. Can I have some food. allowance? <laughs> it's all good. So, uh, check the Patreon link Appreciate in the description if you, if you want to, to join. Uh, thank you for watching the video. We shall see you soon with uh, some brand new uh, useful and informative stuff. Bye bye 
I've been loving it then, I still love it now Still, I play wild Still, I play wild Getting better every day, let me show you how Cause still, I play wild Still, I play wild It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day It's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow Still, I play wild